Okay. In this example, we're going to look and show you a couple different things on the calculator. Some of you might know some things as well. If you do, then please share them. I'll run through everything I know, and then you can add to that. So we are finding a definite integral, or the area under 3x to the fourth minus x plus 1 with the calculator. OK, so if it's on paper 2, there's no sense in running through the whole thing. First of all, we'll do it graphically and then using the math menu. So if we do it graphically, we need a sketch. And we need to look at the domain from 0 to 2. So first, we've put the function in. Then we set the window from 0 to 2. And then I zoom. And I zoom 0 to zoom fit. And it fits a nice window for me. The nice thing you can do at this point, seriously, at this point, we can come to this window, this menu, by pressing second trace. And then we go to number 7. At number 7, the lower bound is 0. The upper bound is 2. We press Enter, and it finds the area nicely for us as 19.2. To get full points, To get full points from 0 to 2, we shade, and you put 19.2. OK? Right. Now, if yours does not look like mine, chances are very high that you didn't window. Window, x min, 0, x max, 2, zoom, fit, and you'll get the same picture as me. Yeah. 0, x min 0. OK, the last thing that you can do with this is right in the math menu, you can get this by scrolling down and there's the actual integral right there. So you can put it in exactly as it looks by doing fn int number 9. Your lower bound is 0, your upper bound is 2. Now you could type this all in again, 3x to the 4 minus x plus 1. Or you can go alpha trace and shortcut because we already put it in. You have to tell the calculator that you're doing it with respect to x, and it then spits out the answer. So if it's on paper 2, you can simply write the answer that this equals 19.2. So two ways to find it. A definite integral over a range, you can find it graphically, or you can find it with the math menu.